Hello, my name is Maurizio. I'm the chef concierge at the Intercontinental London Park Lane. London, the grand resonance of its very name, suggests history and grandeur. Today, I'm going to take you on an insider tour of my favorite sites that this beautiful city has to offer. Come on, let's go. Shepherd's Market is a small square and piazza developed in 1735 by Edward Shepherd. This little enclave is only about three minutes walking from the hotel and it's known for the intimate little restaurant, chic boutiques and impressive Victorian pubs. Right next to the hotel there is the world famous Hyde Park where you can go and take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. In front of Hyde Park, there is Hapsley House. It houses a great collection of art and paintings, from Velasquez to Goya to the Dutch Masters. On any given day, take a walk in Hyde Park to the Orangerie, located by Kensington Palace, where you can experience afternoon tea at its best. You can taste the cuisines from every part of the world in London, and here are some of my favorites. If you fancy some Italian food, you don't have to travel far. Theo Randall at Intercontinental London Park Lane is an award-winning restaurant, offering one of the best Italian food in town. Parola d'Italiano. Trust my word as an Italian. We get wonderful uh, fish from Scotland, vegetables from Verona Market, British farms as well. You know, really wonderful uh, ingredients that you just, you know, you can just look at them and you, they inspire you. I mean, cooking is all about inspiring. Whenever I crave for good Lebanese uh, food, my favorite restaurant is Alhamra, located right in the heart of uh, Shepherd's Market, where you can taste the best meze in town. Mm. Excellent. Cocoon is another favorite of mine, offering fusion Pan-Asian food. Its menu is full of very inventive dishes. This is basilian and egg Thank you. The signature dish here at Cocoon is uh, baked sea bream, which is a uh, sea bass filet, pan fried and then baked. London has a lot to offer to shoppers, from exclusive boutiques to big department stores. But if you're looking for great UK brands, the place to go is German Street. TM Lewin is a shirt maker on German Street, proud of its history and its progressively classical style. Just down the street from TM Lewin, there is another classical English brand, Crocker & Jones. Here at Crocker & Jones, we're very proud of our history. Uh, we have a heritage of making shoes in Northampton uh, going back to 1879. Asprey is a well-respected luxury goods house on Bond Street. As you wander around the four stories Victorian building, you will find antiques, porcelain, leather goods, crystal, clocks, and an impressive collection of jewelry and accessories. Asprey's is uh, an amazing institution. It was uh, started in 1781 by the Asprey family. Um, I like to think of Asprey's as somewhere where anybody can shop. Everyone knows that Harrods is a great shopping destination, but if you're looking for that something extra special, personal shopping experience is the way to go. By appointment, the ultimate personal shopping experience here at Harrods. Whether you're shopping for fashion, home, or a special occasion, our personal shoppers can help you identify that piece. Since it's only by appointment, please come and see us at the concierge desk and we'll be very happy to arrange it for you. There are so many things you can experience in London. Here are some of my recommendations. The Royal Abbott Hall is more than just a classical music venue. Uh, we host rock and pop events from well-established names to up-and-coming bands. We also host sporting events, including a tennis series which takes place every year. We're home to Cirque du Soleil, and we also turn the hall into the largest dining room in London on occasions. One of the many rewarding things you can do in London is to take one of London Walks tour. You can explore London's history and secrets of the past. 
We do over 140 different walks a week around London. You're going to see things that you wouldn't normally find. The guides will also tell you stories. They're all historians or actors or fully qualified guides. Records show that this building has been a pub since 1730. A pint of your English bitter, please. In the back street of Mayfair, there is a lovely local English pub called the Punch Bowl. Here you can have great fish and chips in a traditional surrounding. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you enjoy my tour. London has a lot more to offer, so please come and see us at the concierge desk and we will open the doors of this wonderful city. See you soon! Yeah.